Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 11th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Satellite image shows we still have a lot of clouds over the southeastern United States. All of that uh, cloudiness uh, in due in part to a frontal system that is still draped across the area. Uh, as you uh, probably saw with yesterday's weather extreme video, the front has not moved much, uh, still extending from uh, southern New England to down across uh, Kentucky and Tennessee uh, into extreme uh, northeastern Louisiana, and then the front extending down into southeast Texas. That front will be moving through the area uh, today, but we're going to stay pretty mild out ahead of that front with temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. In the upper air pattern at 500 millibars or about uh, 20,000 feet, we're talking about a nice uh, trough and uh, also the troughiness uh, helping to pick up uh, Pacific moisture and bring it our way. Temperatures, as I said, are mild for this time of year. You can see that uh, basically all of the state of Alabama is pretty much in the lower and mid-60s right now. So uh, if you're in the northwest part of the area, temperatures aren't going to change much uh, and may actually fall a little bit later today as the front moves in. Much of the heavy rain on radar has moved a little bit further to the east, and th that's good. Uh, that has caused uh, the cancellation of uh, flash flood watches across much of uh, the uh, north and uh, northwest parts of uh, Alabama. This is uh, the map covering the county warning area for Birmingham. And so indeed, uh, it now includes the area basically uh, along and to the east and southeast of a line from Anniston to Clanton to Selma and includes a good deal of southeast and south central Alabama as well. The, the uh, larger watch warning map uh, shows all the green uh, that you see. Uh, the dark, darker green are flash flood watches all the way up into West Virginia and the mid-Atlantic states. The brighter greens are actually flood warnings. Then the uh, purples that you see are a good deal of winter weather advisories extending all the way from uh, north central Texas there all the way up to uh, the um, state of Michigan and then over into parts of New England. WPC has a slight risk for heavy rain uh, surrounded by a marginal risk that extends all the way from southern New England all the way down into southeast Alabama. Uh, overall, basically everything has shifted just a little further to the east. SPC has a marginal risk for severe storms, and it's pretty marginal right now. Uh, Cape values sufficient uh, and, and shear not exactly very high. There's a little bit closer look at the area. Uh, it is to the southeast of uh, Birmingham. For uh, day uh, two, just uh, the possibility of some thunder uh, over the southeast U.S. And then on day three, uh, just along the Gulf Coast. All right, the 06 GFS model run, and there's uh, the heavy rain that's occurring, uh, primarily going to be down from southeast Alabama uh, and across uh, parts of Georgia. Cape values, again, um, they're, they're okay. They're not just spectacular. Uh, but they're reaching 300 to 400 joules per kilogram, so basically, uh, they're they're pre, uh, you know sufficient for a look at some marginal thunderstorms. The uh, QPF out through Friday it does not feature a lot of rain after uh, Sunday and Monday, uh, but you can see the rain amounts uh, the heaviest expected over the southeast part of the state around two inches, whereas much of the rest of the state is looking at probably around a half inch. The upper air pattern Monday uh, is still picking up on this southwesterly flow uh, from the Pacific, so we continue to stay probably cloudy, but the front does settle a little further to the uh, southeast. So Monday, I think the better chance for rain and some drizzle, light rain, patchy rain, maybe a shower or two will be in the morning hours primarily. Tuesday, we see the uh, upper ridge becoming really uh, entrenched over the Gulf of Mexico, and that's kind of pushing up a broad uh, ridge over the eastern two-thirds of the country while we have a very strong 
closed low over central California. The uh, result is I think Tuesday will be uh, kind of a nice day, uh, maybe clouds. But also on Tuesday, we've got to watch for the possibility of uh, the wedge or the cold air damming. You can see how the, uh, the uh, isobars actually are uh, aligned along a little bit of a wedge down across from North Carolina, across South Carolina into uh, Georgia and perhaps into Alabama. We'll have to watch. Uh, the GFS Moss guidance suggests a high of 71 or 72, and I think that's a little too uh, high with the wedge in place. The pattern doesn't change much in the upper atmosphere on Wednesday. We've still got the big ridge over the Gulf of Mexico uh, and a, a weak a little disturbance moving through the mid-Mississippi River Valley. The result is we see a little bit of uh, rain and showers uh, over the mid-south area extending into West Tennessee and perhaps uh, the northern third of the state of Alabama. That ridge is still in place on Thursday, as we're not seeing a great deal of change. Uh, we do note that a little bit of a front is going to be coming our way. Uh, it's beginning to get going on Thursday in the uh, central U.S. And with the trough moving through the uh, Great Lakes up there and elongating back into that trough over northern Baja, California, we see a front settling down once again without much push to actually move all the way through. So it looks like Friday could be another one of those kind of wettish days. Not probably a lot of, a lot of rain falling on us, but uh, certainly showers off and on. That elongated trough remains with us on Saturday, and, and so the front is uh, without any good push. It's not going to move much out of the area, so we see a frontal boundary remaining in place. And then by the time we reach Sunday, a week from today, uh, once again, the pattern not changing a whole lot. We've got this weak ridging uh, along the east coast. Uh, and once again, with that frontal boundary in place, it looks like you have to put in a chance for showers. Looking out into voodoo country, and uh, we see a very uh, nice trough coming into the middle Mississippi River Valley uh, on Tuesday the 20th. And that moves on pretty quickly. And uh, that does give us a little bit of a cool down through about the 22nd of February. Uh, but by the end of the period, look at what the GFS is suggesting. Look at that ridge pump up along the East Coast in response to a very, very deep uh, closed low coming in towards the Four Corners area. So, But you know how it is in voodoo country. Here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, that'll do it for this Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back in the saddle once again on Monday morning with the next edition of the weather extreme video hope that you have a great day if you get down to the auto show today i expect to be there between two and four come by abc 3340 booth and say hello have a great day godspeed aks services is now running their 59 dollars fall tune-up special the weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter don't let the fall weather sneak up on you call us today 205-322-9090 al certification number 11120